investigation. Uh, you know, that was law. Uh, this is investigation. Now, um, law and investigation are going to be uh, seen together. Uh, it's fairly, uh, it should be fairly obvious as to why they have uh, situations where um, we may initially think that it's an incident, as I have said before, and it may end up in court. Uh, remember that any investigation, any incident, any uh, trivial issue that initially seems like a, a trivial issue may become much more complex, um, may become a situation where, um, yeah, now it's in court, and any uh, sort of slipshod, slapdash activities that you have done in the initial investigation uh, may not hold up, may not appear as uh, careful as you would like when it's presented as evidence in court, as testimony as to what you did and why you did it. So, um, keep that in the back of your mind. For any incident, for any investigation, for anything that looks like an internal investigation, it could end up, uh, even if it ends up being completely internal, um, a court case for wrongful dismissal, for example. Uh, but, you know, always, always remember, always keep in mind the possibility that this may end up in court. You want to document as well as you can what you did, why you did it, and, uh, you know, the, the first possible indication that you see of uh, this is um, this is something that uh, may end up in a legal situation. Uh, we take a lot more care with it. We are a lot more careful. Um, be aware of that. Be uh, be very aware. You know, be afraid. Be very afraid. Yeah, uh, do that. Um, so, um, any event documentation, action, analysis, um, show. You know what? We talked about the difference between due care and due diligence. Due care. Uh, what did you do? Due diligence. Um, how can you prove that you did it? That you were justified in doing it. That um, your your analysis uh, was correct at the time. Um, was the most careful. Was the most prudent. Uh, so, you know, be prudent in your decisions. Be careful. Don't just think, oh, it'll probably be okay. Um, okay, maybe it will be okay, but if it isn't, how much damage can there be if you have decided on the wrong side? What, um, what additional steps can you take? What extra work can you do? Nobody likes extra work, I know. But what extra steps can you take to hedge your bets, to cover your back, to make sure that if it does end up in court, you can prove you were being prudent. You were taking reasonable precautions. You didn't just say, oh, it'll be all right, and then it's not. So, you know, be, be careful. Um, We've got our incidents, we've got our events, document them. Um, again, once again, who gets the first notice of some crucially 
important legal disaster because of some huge attack. You know, it's going to be the help desk. It's going to be tech support. These are our highly paid, highly trained, well-experienced people, right? No. So, uh, have we got backup for them? Do they know who to call for backup? Do they have guidance when to call for backup? Do they know that they are not going to get in trouble for alerting somebody to an unusual situation? Uh, you know, give them at the very least extra training, extra support in regard to those types of issues, those types of areas. Um, trying to make sure that what we do for them appears to be the actions, the prudent and reasonable actions of a reasonable person, a reasonable superior manager, a reasonable security manager who is providing guidance to the help desk team and their management. You know, all of those different areas. Make sure that we cover it. So...